Hey guys, Bondo here. We're uh, gonna pour this garage section today on the um, frost protected foundation here. So this is what we're doing. We got some great pins in here. We set with the laser. I stuck a little screw in there. That screw is at grade. I put one there, one here. This is 48 foot, so I got my 16 foot screed. What I did is bumped it over here, out to 16. I put a little piece of metal there and then put the one 16 foot away, 16, and then put a piece of metal on the wall, 16 foot out. So, and this is 32 this way, so that should work out good. So that's how we're doing it today. And uh, this garage floor has a, about a two and a half inch pitch in it from the back to the front. So um, any water will run out of here if it gets in here. And our porches are all in. We did this slab yesterday. You've probably seen that. And uh, we got our radiant tubing in. What we usually do, guys, is we'll pour the floor and then we'll, we'll do the tubing and everything that same day because the floors go pretty fast. We did that with the porch here. We did poured our porches. Same day we put our tubing and foam in here. The next day we poured this. Then we did this section, tubing and uh, foam. Just me, Big Biscuit, and Tuna did this yesterday, all the foam. We put poly down, then foam, then the uh, tubing all yesterday just the three of us so it come out pretty good that's how we did it so we're just about done with this project we got to parge it um probably get that done tomorrow and we'll be out of here stay tuned for the pour it comes the morn hey Craig watch everybody get your boot time Here comes the mud! section before we pour it let's see how the loops are they run lengthwise this way there's three loops in here everything's coming out over here I got everything labeled too supplies and returns as they come out of the floor here same thing with that one they're all labeled one more look There you go. What do you think, Mattress? Another day. Another day, another dollar. Big Biscuit, what do you think? I'm ready. Ready? <laughs> Get her done, huh? Born ready. Here comes the mud, boys and girls. I hear them, but I don't see them yet. We're using a conveyor today for this job. Make it easy on us. Should be a piece of cake. It's nice and cloudy today. Well, there's the sun poking through there a little bit, but we got Rob today, big Rob, the driver. He's a good driver, so I like working with him. Back him right in there, Greg, right down the center, buddy. Greg, you been working out? <laughs> Matt's been working out. 12 ounce curls, yeah. Show him the side profile. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll work it off you today. Right, Tuna? Yep. Oh, it's on the back here. Yeah. Look at this Circle T-shirt oh, Tuna's oh, got on. Free oh, advertisement right there. Hold still, Tuna. Circle T right there. That's our concrete company. Hey, guys. So we're pouring out this slab here. And uh, I showed you how we put the pins in there with the... Uh, we put some grade stakes with some screws in them at our grade and we're using that to set our grade because this floor has a two and a half inch pitch to it from the back to the front so the water will run out the front. We did not put a trench drain in this one 
So you can see we're going to use those pins and then we're going to put wet screeds in, which is just concrete at grade. So you can see we're going to use a 16 foot screed stick right here. See those lines we're putting in there, that's just concrete at grade. I got my power screed here and I'm just going to screed across those wet pads, we call them. And I got guys behind me that are what I call puddlers. They're just raking the concrete down to grade. And then Mike there in the orange shirt, he's going behind us and bow floating it, which just takes all the screed lines out and it closes the concrete and it brings up some cream into the top of the concrete. We can see this is the first truck, guys, we're uh, dumping out. We have what's con called a conveyor truck right there. You can see that truck has a boom on the end of it, and it's got like a conveyor belt that actually pulls the concrete out and shoots it out that, uh, that tremie hose, we call it. And then you can see once we dump it, there's a second truck that's coming in there and dumping onto that truck so we can continue to use that conveyor truck, even though... The first load is empty on the truck they can pull that second truck up if you got room and dump right on it so that makes it a lot easier to place the concrete as you can see um, this concrete's 4,000 pound concrete it has fiber mesh in it which is a fiberglass fibers and we use that for extra reinforcement and you can see we're just finishing this up here we got tubing in this concrete guys so we don't like to wheel on it we don't like to uh, you know damage the tubing we don't pull the tubing up into the pull the wire mesh up into the slab where the tubing is going to be near the top it'll damage could get damaged the tubing could so we leave it down on the bottom of the foam and that's why we put the fibers in there for the extra reinforcement you can see we're just finishing things up here guys with the power screed and just right there we're done that's how we put that concrete in this day Matt's just both floating it out now okay guys this is where we're at. We got everything poured out. We hand mag the edges with a mag trowel. So that's looking good. We tapered our doorways a little bit. We always do that. We cut them out a little bit. And uh, we're gonna probably be on this with a machine shortly. It's still quite not quite ready in the back. It's still a little soft. You wanna be able to step on it without leaving a foot track. So she's still a little it's getting there, but I think, see, uh, I can push in and leave a dent. Take your fingers and you can see it's still too soft. You gotta keep checking it, keep a good eye on it. It doesn't get away from you. So that's what we're doing, we're waiting on it right now. But our edges are all good and everything, so. Stay tuned. Pretty shiny. We're hitting the front now. We got Big Bird out here. We had two machines. We got a little Ernie out here. We're done with Ernie. Now we got Big Bird. Big Bird's a 48 incher. Ernie's a 36 incher. Tuna's just cleaning them up. We need two machines. It's concrete. As soon as it goes, it goes. You better be hustling. Ain't no time to wait on it. That's why I brought Big Bird today. See a little footage.
big machine right there. Old Big Bird's a big machine. This floor's got a two and a half inch pitch in it, guys. You can kind of see it right there on the block line. smooth he said so that's what we're gonna give him nice and shiny That's a wrap. Yeah. She's hard as a rock, Buck. Looks good, fellas. That's a day, huh? Okay, guys, this is the final product here. This is the frost protected foundation. We're actually. Got the sprinklers on the slab here while carrying it. So, oops, a lot of water right there. Just sinking. Got a little water running off the bottom there. That's what she turned out like. I had a couple guys come in and parge it for me yesterday. They did a nice job. Looks really good, guys. They put a sponge coat on it. Porches are looking good. Slab turned out nice in the garage. This is the house part. You can see the porches. That's how we did it. Frost protected foundation. Took us about two weeks to build it. Thanks for watching, guys.